This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving here. We know what happens eventually after he becomes the intercontinental champion, he has uh, a collision course with Hulk Hogan. He becomes a made man at WrestleMania six, when he is not only the intercontinental champion, but now the world champion, having defeated Hulk in the main event in the sky dome, this is uh, a really, really big deal. And it's happening, uh, sort of, uh, across the aisle from you guys. I mean, you're trying to put uh, Ric Flair and Sting in the same ring together. Sting gets hurt. There's a bit of a delay. It doesn't happen before WrestleMania six. It happens after, but it is pretty remarkable that within a handful of months, two guys who started together as tag team partners are now sitting atop the wrestling world as world champions. And the similarities are there. Crazy hair, face paint, big energy. But I've always wondered what if things were a little different? What if instead of WCW landing sting, what if instead warrior sticks around Watts territory, he winds up joining Crockett. Could you have seen these guys switching places and perhaps at WrestleMania six, it's Hogan and sting and a great American bash. It's flair and warrior. Uh, give me a shudder. Give me ch- uh, chills to think that, uh, no, no, I thought the warriors push was strictly aesthetic oriented uh again the, the the colorful attire the face paint was creative uh you know he had a lot of energy on his entrance anyway but no i i i have a hard time comparing other than what you pointed out they started together they're big muscular guys and, and all that stuff i have a hard time looking at uh that's about where it ends because sting wanted to learn sting was willing to learn he had patience. He had time for everybody. He was respectful and warrior was none of those things. So I'm glad that he went to WWE. Look, he got the biggest push of his life at WrestleMania six. It didn't last very long. It really didn't for that kind of push to, to, to that star sh- shine brightly. And then it, it, it fizzled out. So no, I don't, uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't want to think of that. Uh, Crockett got the better deal with sting by, by far. And, uh, and Vince and his, where it's more, uh, structured, more, more, you could be, you're higher, you're heavier produced, you know, the NWA in that era with led by flair was more, at, more old school working, uh, you know, all these things. It was just more tradition. Uh, and, and McMahon was a little different, had a little different promotion. The matches are different. There are a lot of gimmicks and this thing, and the other, you know, uh, I just, no, I, I, I can't see that ever. I'm glad it didn't happen, but, uh, whoever got staying, got the better guy. What do you think Vince could have done? Like, we know how this run is going to work out with, uh, the ultimate warrior and, and the WWF here in 1990, but if sting would have been the guy beating Hogan in Toronto, do you think sting would have become an even bigger superstar than he became? Oh, hell yes. Absolutely. Because WWE was. Uh, looked at as the, 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 the big dog in the yard and, uh, and Sting kept evolving. Conrad, he kept improving. His game got better. Look at some older Sting matches. You see great athleticism and individual things that he did really, really well. But over time, he learned to connect all the dots and, and build continuity in his matches. I never saw warrior get any better, uh, after he went to WWE than he was in any other territory. Uh, or, and he didn't, did he get better in W in uh, WWF? No, I don't think so. Right. So, uh, yeah, sting, sting was a star sting was so God dang loyal to WCW that, you know, he, he could have gone to WWF at any time if contractually, uh, if he was con- not contractually obligated and would have been a major star there, but he was a quality human being. That's kind of how that works more often than not. You see guys that are renegades that have long careers. But really, do they, based on what they could have had? Sting was a perfect locker room guy, nobody better, and uh, and and then you got Warrior who didn't, you know, he he would Warrior's the kind of guy that would come in and demand his own locker room. Right. That was always a tip off to me when a talent says, "I got to have my own locker room." Why? Why can't you dress with the talent? You know, you go to the NFL. You know, Tom Brady don't have a separate locker room. 
the, all, I'm using that as a basic illustration, but sure, it just didn't work, man. I, I can't stress this enough. Smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors and great marketing. That's what made ultimate warrior a star. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.